welcome back to the channel. I uh, haven't done this in a while and I really want to start this video by saying that I really want to have a very serious dialogue about mental health. I wrote this in my bedroom, hoping I could flex on. Maybe on an island that I could fly my jet to. Calling to my shawty that she can clear her schedule. Both gotta be ballin', I know she wanna flex too. Hella guap, say cheese, upper echelon. Pay me, I'm thinking top down. If you've seen this, this type of setup before, whether if you've seen one of the videos I've done for Morehouse, or whatever the case may be, this may be very familiar. My bed, the Morehouse brick, the Morehouse nail you in the back, like all of this clean aesthetic. Cool, whatever, right? You may be very accustomed to seeing that side of it, but I really want to show you the complete opposite side of my room. So what y'all see is that, right? But when I look past the camera, this is this is what I see. Ignore the lights and everything, but I see junk, I see mess, I see bottles. Literally everything under the sun is within this room. Um, literally my whole life is is like all of that. Like yeah, what is that? yeah, it's, it's it's pretty bad. The reasoning and why I wanted to show you all that, or at least invite you into my personal space so that I can have a moment of transparency, not only with you all, but most importantly for myself. A lot of people see my platform, whether on social media, whether in real life, and see me as some individual that is just so well put together. And the last thing that I want people to think is that. Again, welcome, welcome, welcome to Mental Health Monday. I'm so excited to be embarking on this journey with you all to show you different strategies and tips and things. So make sure if you're not already, follow me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter because I'll be updating both of those social media platforms fairly often, uh, especially as it relates to Mental Health Mondays. And yeah, so task number one, or yeah, the main task for today is to clean this space. Um, as you've seen probably by the title, this has to do with making sure that your space is clean, your, your space is kept because I personally believe your living space is a direct representation of how you are feeling. I'm tired of looking at that same platform. Switch up everything, clean the room, let's get it, baby. Oh my God. Um, yeah, be free. That's a whole whole subliminal message. Uh, be free. So, yeah, my room's a mess. Like it's really bad. Like, oh my God. This how y'all. This how y'all. I know y'all didn't think I lived like this, but this is bad. It's, they don't look, disclaimer, hold on, because I know somebody gonna say it in the comment section. Um, my room don't look like this all the time, but when it start looking like this, I know it's time for me to switch it up. Like, I really want y'all to understand, like, no part of this is scripted. Like, this is a very real representation of my mental state. Um, I left everything how it was. I wanted to clean it up just a tad bit before I got it. And then I realized that wouldn't be real. That wouldn't be transparent. So, again, like, this is, I don't even drink soda and stuff like that. But I can't tell you the, how long that's been sitting here. Stuff like this, like... And it's, it's not a matter of cleanliness or being dirty. Uh, trust and believe. If your friends are not showering often or their like their space, their living space is not up to date or kept up, whatever, make sure that you check it on them. Because chances are they're not just being you know dirty people. Chances are their mental health is really waning, and they need somebody to reach out and pick them up. I'm hanging up. I do what you love song because I realized that I had so much optimism that we were going back to campus that I really didn't want to shift back over campus life and necessarily into my home life. So I wasn't holding those those things that are dear to me, wasn't putting them up because I just was so thrown by having to quickly go back to home. But I'm going to put my do you love song back up as a positive or just a What's the, what's the word? Affirmation. That's the word I'm looking for. As an affirmation about everything that I do in life, I want to be reminded all the time that whatever I do in life and whatever avenue that I, I go on, 
that always do what you love. And that's something that I want to put on y'all too. So let me hang that up. Possibly might bring some positivity and life into this space. So let's get it. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So I really just stopped recording the process of me cleaning the room. Cause I didn't want to bore y'all with just like time lapses of me doing all of this cleanup. Essentially the room is hella clean. Like I don't even think my room has been this clean. Oh wow. Oh wow. And so long, but I'm super excited. Um, I actually feel so much better mentally and yeah. So let me show y'all a tour of the room now and get to the moral of the story. Skirt out, I might switch to Avalon with the Rari. It was low when I said it was, it just hurt now. I'm questioning everything when you talk to me. I've been on the low when I heard you ragging up my lips. Going dumb, but you stay somewhere in college. Really wish we could have kept some things private. Alright, so more on the story. Make sure that you're taking care of your spaces. This is the part of, this is the first part of the many steps towards taking care of your mental health. And I gotta practice what I preach, so I had to make sure that I was doing the same things. So more on this series to expand. If you enjoyed the video, let's make sure you leave a like on it and you know share it, send it to people. Engage in the comment section. That's one of the biggest ways to hear feedback from me. Pretty much always respond to YouTube comments. So. If you like the content, you want to see more of it, you want to see less of it, or you just have something on your mind, just use that comment section as a resource and have a blast. Go off. Um, yeah. Make sure you're taking care of your mental health. Like, that's major. That's so, so major. I don't think I have anything else left to say. Drink water, mind your business. Um, yeah. Roll the credits. Say, say, hey, say, hey, this is like, bye. Skirt out, I'm my sister.